Hi guys, it's Ashley from AB Sound Advice. Today we're going to check out and do a review on the Bayer Dynamic T, uh, T5P Mark II. Um, now these headphones are pretty special. Um, when I first got these in, I really, really couldn't wait to hear them. And I admittedly haven't played with the T1s, but um, definitely the T5... Um, P Mark IIs um, really are something special. And these are a 32 ohm. Um, what's cool about this is it allows you to put a high end set of uh, headphones on your head um, that'll operate off an iPhone. Of course, you can still use your headphone amplifiers. And I think these are around the two and a half thousand dollar mark, roughly, depending on where you are, that'll vary. But um, no, an absolutely fantastic headphone, um, super comfortable. Um, even when you look inside the cans, you can see how they've got a slight angle on them. Um, massive drivers, um, beautiful construction. They really are fantastic, and they obviously fan you know, the case, you know, full zip-up case. Um, looks like a leatherette of some form. It could even be a hide of so. It's very very nice. Um, the presentation of the of the product is just absolutely fantastic, and you get obviously a cert certificate. Um, five-year warranty. Um, if you don't know much about Bayer, um, a lot of they do a lot of professional headphones, and um, they um, are sort of probably been around a very, very long time. German-made product. Uh, I've, I've done a lot of. I've had these for a little while, so I've had a lot of time to compare this with other models and other brands. And um, these T five P from Bayer's are just fantastic and if you ever have an opportunity to have a listen to these um, if you know they're of a pair being somewhere I'd go and have a listen they really are a fantastic headphone now again in the review I've used my um, two headphone amplifiers I've run it on the Marantz and the Schutz German valve headphone amp and I've also run it on my um, preamp the old school preamp from Rotel and the good thing about doing that, it just gives me, um, obviously also done it through um, my mobile phone, through the iPhone Pro 11, and um, very, very impressive. I mean, the thing that I found with these when they first arrived, getting the seal around your ears won't be the easiest thing to do with this model. They're, they're quite big cans, but if you can get them to seal off um, on the side of your head, um, you are in for one treat. They're very, very clinical. Um, there's anything that's in the track you're going to know it's there musically one of the best headphones I've heard and again I've heard a lot of headphones um, and I you know it's a tough one when it gets to this area I mean um, as much as I make that statement you've seen me do reviews on other high-end headphones and these ones here as I said it's just going to come down to the fitting I found um, if I hold them closer to me as and get a proper seal um, they're just absolutely fantastic. If I can't get that seal, it does sacrifice the bass. Um, but musically, very clinical, very clean. And again, if you don't like a lot of highs and you find you, you're looking for something not so bright, this headphone may not be for you. But if you are looking for something with real attention to detail and you're really wanting the best you can possibly get, this would be the right way to go. So... It's a tough, it really is a tough decision when you're doing um, reviews of this level. Um, I find as we go up the range, it becomes even more difficult to provide a real um, review on what whether something's better or worse than another headphone. I don't think that's really the way to be doing this. I think if you're going to be spending over the $2,000 mark, you really do need to go out and have a listen um, just to see what you like. And as I said, again... Um, I've got a f quite a few headphones over the 2K mark, and I have a favourite for depending on what I'm playing. And then I have a, a favourite what I wear as a favourite for most of the time. And then I've also um, you have headphones like these ones I don't use very often, but when I do put them on, you just go wow, just remind you just how awesome they are. So again, you, fantastic headphone. The, the thing that will make this probably a bit more unique than most other brands of this level. Because it's got the 32 ohm, you can plug it straight into your phone. So if you're looking for a high-end headphone that you you don't really want to put it into a headphone amp, 
and you're wanting the portability, obviously it's a big headphone, but what I mean by portability, you want to sit on a lounge or um, you don't want to be connected to something. Um, you want to be plugged in locally. Portable headphone amplifier is another good way to do it, but again, you just want to just shove it into the phone. Um, this, there wouldn't be very many high-end headphones that you can do that. Um, sound quality through all of the ways I've played these is the same. It's just, as I said, each individual will just have a different experience with the ceiling of them. I just felt maybe Bayer could have put a little bit more pressure on just so they're, they're, they're tighter on the head. But then in saying that, um, you know, each person's slightly different, so it may be perfectly balanced. So if you're looking for a, a high-end headphone and you're looking for something with real attention to detail, this would really need to be on your list. And that's the, you know, the Bayer T5P Mark II. And um, hopefully today you enjoyed today's view, a review. And just a, to, another note too, um, it, when I say it's musical, this would be this would be like listening to a ten to twenty thousand dollar pair of floor standers, um, and you're attaching it to your head. So it just gives you an idea. It really is a musical experience. So um, do take the time to to look around, and this I would put on your list to listening to if you're going to be looking for a high end um, headphone. All right, guys, we well, have a great day, and hopefully you enjoyed today's review.